Hello and welcome, it's Leon Street here from businessownerelevation.com and today I'm about to bring you some real hustle muscle. So here's the thing guys, if you're a business owner, a coach, a consultant, I'm speaking to you right now because I'm about to go into a topic that is absolutely crucial to the success of your business if you want to leverage yourself online with your products and services and in particular I want to speak about two key areas and these areas are going to massively increase the success of what you do online not only just to generate leads but to generate sales that's what we're in this for if you want a commercial profitable organization that works without you you've got to start with these two key things because these things will form the basic foundation of your business when it comes to sales and marketing and let me tell you what they are first of all we have on the right the elevation stairway and on the left we have sales funnels so I'm not talking about boxing or anything and in corners but actually these two powerhouses being in your corners in your ring are actually going to do the damage for you in a positive way so let's start let's begin so most of us when we're trying to position ourselves online it's like what do we need to put in place and we think about what services or what products do we have to give you know our customers and one of the key things is that we, we tend to think about what's our top product, what's the thing that we want to get out there and make people aware of or if you're not so confident you might have the inverse, the, the reverse of that which is let's start small because we don't want people to think we're pushy or we're too big for our boots and here's the thing, what you need is a mix of both of those and all the stuff in between and so what I'm going to do is break this down for you, I have a trusty uh, sheet with me just to show you that I've prepared this for you. Now this sheet is going to guide me so I can guide you into what I want to teach you today especially when we get to the elevation stairway and then when we transition from this to sales funnels and this is where we begin. So first of all let's imagine you have a business and you want to position yourself as an authority it's kind of like you have this top product maybe it's a coaching product maybe it's a top tier service that you offer whether it's you know one-to-one -one coaching whether it's group coaching or consultancy you need to be able to get out there and position yourself especially if you're new or maybe you're established but you haven't quite broken into your market so people don't really know of you so what you need to do is first of all establish authority and one of the greatest ways that you can do that and the first step in the elevation stairway is what I want to do guys is just create this first step so I'm going to go across here just so you can see that and we're going to go up and then we're going to go across that's our first step here so I'm going to put one there and so we're really going to test my drawing skills today to make sure we keep this on point for you so the first thing is you need to create something called a lead magnet and it is what it says on the tin. A lead magnet is something that attracts a lead in, somebody who you can go out to and possibly sell them something but it attracts them in a way almost magnetized to what you have to offer. So I want to first put lead magnet and I'm going to go into more details about what a lead magnet is. So have you ever been on a website where somebody has said get the free ebook or get this free cheat sheet, get this free video training generally when somebody puts something out there and they say this is free that's the point where they're trying to attract you in and trying to really grab you with what they have to offer in their lead magnet now I'll give you an example so I've downloaded lead magnets before and from other people who have offered them to me so it could be an ebook let's think about maybe how to market your business better how to do things like search engine optimization how to actually structure your sales script so that you close people better these are some of the things that I've come across there are other things like you know how to set up your own membership site lead magnets but they're given away for free and some of them as I say sometimes they're videos but they can ultimately just be PDFs you could actually have like an audio book or maybe just audio recordings here's a, another great one maybe you've done something like a sales call or a telephone call or maybe you just had a conversation with you know a business partner maybe a colleague a client and actually with just really good content that you can put out there and share with people because it has some valuable lessons in there this is a lead magnet so a lead magnet is something that you'd put out online so let me just make a note PDF I'm going to put audio so whether it's an mp3 or I'm going to put video. So you put it out there and you put it onto a web page 
And on the web page, you have the normal things you'd expect on a, a lead magnet. So we'd have an email and name. So people give you their email and name, and once they fill their, their details in, they're able to get access to this free stuff, whatever value you're putting out there. But here's the cool thing about lead magnets. Lead magnets are valuable because they solve a problem or serve a need. So it's no point in putting something together that has no use for anybody. So here's an example. Maybe you put together a diagram, but it actually doesn't give people you know, any solution. It's just a diagram. There's no context behind it. So when you put a lead magnet together, you've got to be clear that it actually solves a problem or serves a need for your customers. And that's the whole point of step one with lead magnets. And here's the other thing. When you're solving a problem and serving a need, people look at you as an authority figure because you have brought the goods. You are the expert. This is what we psychologically think in our subconscious without verbalizing it. And that's what the lead magnet will allow you to do. So that's step one. Now what we need to do is move into the next step in the elevation stairway. So here we are. So we'll go up and across. Number two. So number two is our tripwire. So at this point where somebody has downloaded your lead magnet, what we need to do in our sales funnel, so these are the sequences of web pages that I spoke about where somebody gives you, first of all, name and email. We need to give them a tripwire. What do I mean by a tripwire? We need to give them something to actually fall over. Yeah, and what do I mean by that? We need them to be in a position so that we can segment people. And a tripwire gives you the ultimate segmentation. It allows you to find out who the buyers are. So a tripwire, let's put this in here, is all about offering a low priced product. And it could even be a service, but generally it could just be a low priced product because it gives you leverage. Whereas if it's a service, you have to deliver that and maybe there's some resource around that. Whereas if you deliver a product, it could be a more in depth ebook, it could be like 30 pages or so, but it's just got that real juicy content that's just, you know, not a one page cheat sheet. It takes people to that next level. But with the tripwire, let's use a different color for this one. They're probably going to pay you something like five to ten. I'm just going to put a couple of currency signals here. So we've got like pounds or dollars. And this is the thing. So here, somebody has chosen to download your PDF lead magnet or video or audio. And then on the thank you page, you then put your core offer. And the core offer is this tripwire, your low price product. And you say to them, hey, thank you for downloading whatever the lead magnet was in step one. Step two, you then offer them the core offer, which is, by the way, if you really want to take what we're talking about in step one, the lead magnet, to the next level, why not get our tripwire? Yeah. And the whole point in this is that you're segmenting people. So rather than just getting people to join your email list, which is what lead magnets are all about, you're actually getting to the point where you know who are the buyers in my list, how many buyers do I have as a percentage in my list, why is this important, you're probably asking. Well, imagine you have a list of 100 people, yeah? They've all joined because they wanted to get your lead magnet, but you have no idea how many out of them are actually in a position where they want to buy stuff. It's no use to you. Whereas if you have 100 people in your list and you know that actually 30% are bought, have a guess who you can target with more focus the next time you have an offer. Yes, you can go after all of them, but maybe you've got a special message for that segmented group of people who actually invested in what you have. And that's the real power in going through this process of setting up your tripwire when it comes to your elevation stairway. Really important. So at this point where you've got people to trip and so effectively you have this offer and then they can type their credit card details in or maybe pay with PayPal or Stripe, whichever payment process you're using, you're getting them to get their debit or credit card out and buy from you. Absolutely essential. Right, so now what I wanna tell you about is step three. So in our elevation stairway, step three is all about webinars. So let me tell you what a webinar is and what a webinar isn't. So a webinar is basically a free piece of live training or a pre-recorded piece of live training. Generally, it's a video. 
And the video could be something like this where it's face to camera, where it's just me or you just talking to your audience about whatever the solution is, whatever it is you want to teach them about. So an example would be, I could teach you in-depth sales funnels. I could teach you in-depth elevation stairway and break down these steps here what I'm taking you through so that you get more understanding maybe as part of going face to camera I then switch to screen narration where I have a presentation maybe PowerPoint on screen and it's me just talking about whatever it is I'm training today so whether it's either of these or whether it's how to get more leads online that type of thing and so what you've got to think about is what is it that you could teach your audience in a webinar and the cool thing about this is a webinar is generally I say generally around about one hours in length it can be longer it can be shorter but generally if you have your webinar which I'll make sure here that you see it's all about training so if I can spell that right so I and G and you know I'm just going to make sure I underline this here training here's the thing you're delivering a webinar which is not too dissimilar to me doing video today but imagine if you're delivering a webinar, or you're actually watching a webinar, let's, let's flip the script, and somebody's actually just selling to you. Selling to you. There is no rapport built, there is no trust built, and all you're doing is pushing either your product or service, there is nothing there, there is nothing for people to believe in, there's nothing for them to take away, there's nothing that they can implement because all you're doing is selling, yeah? So the key here, which is why I've underlined it, is training, actually give your best stuff away to people and you're thinking your best stuff are you crazy Leon I may just be crazy here's the thing I'm doing this video right now and teaching you there is no cost to this video it is totally free yeah and it's the same principle when you do a webinar yeah so you're putting something together that people can take away they can implement and yes it's your best stuff but generally it's where you go one inch wide and one mile deep. You take people into core depths of your knowledge where they can implement. And so yes, there may be lots of things that you understand, you know about to do with your industry, your expertise, whatever it is that you do. So whether you are a coach, consultant, network marketer, it's all about taking people on that journey so they can take something away. But the key thing about your webinar is that you control the content you control the structure and what is presented. And here's an important part. So let's say you have a 60 minute webinar. Let's say 60 minutes. Yeah, you're delivering training, but here's the important part. For, let's say 10 minutes right at the end, so going over the hour mark, you then start to position a call to action and the webinar is an absolute gem when it is in your elevation stairway because with this what you can do is start to position whatever offer it is maybe you want to push people to a strategy call where they go to a specific link and they can book themselves in for a telephone call with you and on that telephone call you can present your core offerings and generally it might be and quite potentially is going to be a high ticket product which we'll talk about shortly or it could simply be you're pushing people to go and buy a product online, maybe you've got the link on screen, and at that point you will see that the proportion of you training compared to what you're offering is actually in proportion, and so people don't think actually I was just sold to, they'll think flip me, they gave so much content and they pushed me in the direction of where I could go and get more of that content, whether it was paid for or whether it's something that they're booking themselves in for free. And this is a really important part. The webinar is your friend, but stick to this kind of rule here. There are, there are no rules. You could actually go two hours, three hours, but here's the key thing. It needs to be exciting, tonality. You've got to get all of this across and your presentation really must add value to the lives of the people that you are offering this to. Again, with the webinar, great at building your email list, just like the lead magnet funnel. And so for me, it's something that you should definitely put in place. Here's the final part of the webinar. With a webinar, once you've recorded it live and you've gone through the process of delivering content, you've got people interacting, questions, you've got a video. What can you do with video? You can use it again, repurpose, and so you can end up with a replay webinar. And so this can go out on autopilot for you. 
How about that guys? So you create the video and then it works for you time and time again, goes out on autopilot. So these people that have opted into your list and maybe some of them turned up for the webinar, not everybody shows up. So have a guess what you can do, send out emails and get them back to it. So webinars, another great thing in your toolbox of the Elevation Stairway. Right guys, so now we're gonna move into step four, continuity or membership funnels. Now this is a real important part, so let me put this here. I'm gonna put membership. So membership is all about creating a place for your community to go to, so being part of a membership. So it could be a membership website, it could be something like a Facebook group, or even like a LinkedIn group. The primary would be to push people to a paid membership site that you control, because what you don't want is if you've got a group maybe on Facebook or even on LinkedIn, if they pull the plug on groups or change settings or whatever, you lose control. So with continuity, it's all about pulling people into a place that you control, but they're paying to have have access. It could be like a monthly uh, membership site, it could be a yearly, so annually. And it might even be that if they pay annually, it's just that they get a discount, but you get more of the payment up front, and which is a great thing because it's better cash flow for you and your business. So going into membership, the key thing here is that when people have gone through the steps one, two, and three, they're paying customers, you've segmented people, actually you've got them in a place where they come back to you time and time again. And so actually you're pulling on people who believe and trust in your brand. Why is this so important? Well, let's think about Facebook for instance. You know, their biggest commodity is the people, the user base, the community. No, it's not paid for, but there is an element of that audience, that membership who do actually pay. Do you know who it is? It's the advertisers, the 50 million businesses that advertise on Facebook are actually their paid membership, but they also double up as the audience who join for free. Now this is really cru crucial to your business because it's another place for you to leverage. So make sure that you've got membership in your funnel. So let's move forward. The final one in this sequence that I wanna talk about guys, number five, and this is high ticket. So what is high ticket? So high ticket can be anything from a thousand dollars, a thousand pounds or more. And maybe you have a coaching program, could be group, it could be one to one. Yeah, it could be some kind of consultancy service, whatever it is that you have as high ticket. The thing with high ticket is that this is your kind of centerpiece product that people can get from you. And really it's all about pushing people to this step. See, what we could have done is maybe you're new to the market or established, like I said, but you haven't really set the foundations and you're trying to go from here, ground zero, to step five without establishing any rapport, without establishing any uh, way for people to future project what they can have of, of yours in terms of products and services. But with the value ladder stepping people up to this high ticket product, it creates that for them, it creates a logical flow. It's kind of like if I said to my three-year-old daughter who's just started her final year in nursery, yeah, final year in nursery, very early. Imagine if I said to her, Renee, I can't wait for you to have your degree. Right now she has no concept of what a degree is. She's three years old. And the same could be said if I spoke about my nine-year-old son who's in year five. He's nine years old and you know, if he goes down that route of university, I could be saying, you know, wouldn't it be great when you turn, I don't know, 21 and you've got your degree. Right now, no concept. But what I can say to him is that whilst you're at primary school, the next step in the sequence, whatever that is for him is, high school, he starts to future project himself at high school. When he's at high school, yeah, he can then future project himself doing A-levels and further education. Once he's in that position, he can now start to think about what he wants to do at university. Do you see where I'm going? This one's more spread out, but I can give you another example. Think about Apple. So in their product offering, you can start down here by getting an iPod. Yeah, and then maybe they step you up to an iPhone. From an iPhone, maybe you just wanna get a bigger device so you go and get an iPad. And so each step, not only am I stepping you up in a different type of product, a different offering, but also in value. And that's why this graph is so important. So you can see there is perceived value and value in the actual content that is given. And then there is also price. So actually the, the value of your products and price is going up. And this is a real important part. And then ultimately, as you step up to the higher prices, the higher ticket products, 
you're probably talking about IMAX, MacBook Pros, all that kind of stuff, high ticket. What is the difference with high ticket with you? Here's the thing, when you get to high ticket, you can't necessarily always sell online. There is a part where you need to break this down so that people actually speak to you on the phone because it's important that you change the environment because here you need to establish real rapport. You need to understand really what their pains are. Now, if you haven't watched one of the videos before that Phil and Robert recorded, you need to go and check it out. It's all about how you handle high ticket product sales and services objections go and watch that video but back to my point when you get to high ticket it is all about changing the environment so having the confidence to be able to pick up the phone when people have booked themselves in so here it is the elevation stairway it's something that the big companies use out there it's something that you can use think about mcdonald's you go in there you say you want a cheeseburger or you want a I don't know what they call it now. You want a meal and then they say, do you want to go large? So this is them having, you know, a bump in there where they can give you something, you know, to, to increase the average sale. Maybe, you know, they then offer you something else. Maybe you want a milkshake. And then as you go through, you're now probably more of a committed customer and you go back again for the second time. But this time when you go back there, you go with your family. And so you're not only buying yourself a meal, you're buying meals for everybody who's with you at the time, high ticket not as high as what you and I would like to be selling online, but you get the idea and that's the whole point. But how does this all fit together, guys? How do you actually use this to actually pull people in and actually get that sale going? Here's the thing. Let's move over here on the right, sales funnels. So here's the thing. So I'm gonna grab myself another pen. So what normally happens is you're marketing your, marketing your business out on Facebook, AdWords, could be Instagram, could be Twitter, all those things. You're driving put people here through your funnel so that you can do a number of things. You wanna grab people's attention. You wanna spark interest. You wanna get them in a place of desire. And you wanna get, ultimately, if I can spell it right, action so let me rub that out right there's my artistic endeavors complete now here's the point guys attention interest desire so let's map sales funnels i.e pulling pulling people in at the top so we get them down narrows out at the bottom where you actually create sales pounds dollars euros let's now link the two together so check this out for drawing number one we get people coming out the top, free stuff, lead magnets. This is where you really grab people. Tripwires, now in the tripwire, this is something where we're gonna pull this, look at this here. We're gonna pull them in here. Yeah, so you can see that first we've got ones, lead magnets, twos, tripwires. Then we've got our webinar training, so pulling people in further into the sequence. Let's see if we can do a nice, line here we go yep so you're following so far lead magnets trip wires webinars then we pull people in from mcdonald's bringing all their family in and we're into step four where we've got a membership site where people are loyal to what we do and if you are you know for instance let's say maybe you go to costa something like that starbucks and you've got your loyalty card so people are going to come back and then ultimately you take them from here where you've got high ticket sales, five. Pumping them right out of the bottom of the sales funnel. Now here's the important part, guys. I know you can appreciate all of my green lines here. Made it a bit messy, but I know you've been able to follow it through. But here's the key thing, guys. You need to show people your product offering. That's right from free through to your high ticket. But to really understand the psychology of how people buy, you need to focus your sales funnels so that as you're marketing, you understand that it's all about stepping people through your sales funnel so that you can get to this part here where they actually buy from you. And ultimately, you're able to get them to take that action. This is the key in terms of your business being a success. You can't jump from free or no free to high ticket without establishing authority. Your products establish the trust, the likability and authority in the people who buy from you. And as they decide to buy more, 
obviously that will compound the effect to the point where you then move beyond high ticket products into probably private retreats and getting ultra high in terms of probably 10, 20, 30, 50,000 pounds worth of stuff that you can give to people and present to them. So let's wrap up guys. We have the Elevation Stairway, all about presenting your products from low, free, all the way up to high. And then we have the Sales Funnel, which is all about how you get people through from your marketing to actually a buying place, a buying decision. This is the keys to you moving people through online. Now, what I'll be doing in further videos is where we're gonna break this down even more, how we put it together. So you understand the theory now, then what I'm gonna do is show you some examples of where we take this to the next level, guys. So it's Leon Street from Business Owner Elevation, taking you through the left and the right sides of marketing with the Elevation Stairway and Sales Funnels. Thank you for watching, I'll speak to you soon.